Hi everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is the end of the day and apparently, according to one of my 15 year olds, I've got too much energy. Ha. But that's okay. She can suffer. She's been staying home all day. Well, not suffer. I love her. So today we are going to do a swipe, but the difference is this is a canvas that I had previously poured on, but I didn't like it. And the way I tell, I liked it at the time that I poured it, but it was two and a half months ago and I never varnished it. So that to me tells me that deep down is not working for me. So then I got rid of it. But when I painted it, I painted it uh, the metallic cobalt blue and uh, you could still, still see the texture because the paints that I used, it was a Dutch pour, they left a texture, they left some raised areas. And I didn't want to do another pour over a canvas that was textured. Um, so it was then sitting there for a little bit. So today though, I was going to take, I'm just going to take the texture and go with it because I want to try this and it seems super fun. So what I did is I put this patch plus primer by 3M on this canvas and I created texture. So when I do a swipe with it, it will leave that texture in there. This stuff dries in about 30 minutes and then it's paintable. It's for spackling and closing holes on your walls. So this may work, this may not work, but if it does work, it's gonna be super cool and I'm probably gonna do more. So typically I would swipe with Yupo paper, but because Yupo paper is not going to touch uh, the, the spots that are raised and lower, today I'm gonna swipe with wait, wet paper towels. So I, on top of the patch plus primer, I painted it black with Artist Loft Cobalt, I'm sorry, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in Black, and then I'll flood it with this color here and so in there, it appears black. But what this is actually a mixture of is the Artist Loft Cobalt, uh, why do I keep saying Cobalt? I think it's my, it, I guess I said it before, it's my favorite color, so I wanna say it. This is a mixture of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, the um, Liquitex Basics in di Dioxazine Purple, and then I mixed it with American Flow Troll and um, GAC 800. And so while it looks, and I'm sorry, I also put Artist Loft Iridescent Medium in there because I want it to be a little, a sparkly piece. Um, so while it looks black, I don't know if you can see it, there's a purple hue to it. So I'm hoping once I swipe with it and it dries, that purple hue will come back, come out a little bit. We shall see. My colors today, I had to write them down because I keep mixing my colors. This is a mixture of um, a little tiny bit of phthalo blue with um, the deep turquoise, tur turquoise by Deco Art Americana Metallics. My consistency, I don't know if you see, it leaves a tiny, tiny mound, but then disappears pretty readily. This is a mix of that same phthalo blue by uh, Liquitex Basics, but this time I've mixed it with some Liquitex Basics fluorescent pink and um, Artist Loft neon pink. And it gives this cool, um, almost periwinkle. I also added the iridescent medium by Artist Loft to this one because I like sparkle. Um, the third one I have here is a mix of the Artist Loft metallic cobalt blue. I can say it this time, but I added to it the Deco Art Americana in emerald and a little bit of the 24 karat gold by Deco Art Americana. So it gives this really pretty shimmery gold green um, that I think will be seen well once it's covered, uh, once it's swiped out. What's that? That's my swipe, my flood cutter. This fourth one is the Deco Art Americana in copper and the Deco Art Americana in berry, which gives this really fiery, uh, there's a brand called Treasure Gold that makes a fire opal color that I really, really like. That's this here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a, it's almost a copper with a pink base, but this I had already mixed with regular American Floetrol. And these colors are mixed with my um, house paint pouring, me pouring medium, which is the um, HGTV Ultra Deep Base. This, 
they've stopped making it. I'm not, a ha not happy about that. Mixed with the Minwax Polycrylic Clear Gloss. And that's mixed four to three, paint to varnish. So that's that uh, copper color that I did. Then uh, my next color here is a mixture of the Phthalo Blue by Liquitex Basics with the DecoArt Americana in um, Garnet. And I just love this color. It's my, like a midnight blue, but it's got a lot of sparkle in it. And I think it's gonna be really pretty um, against the black. Number six here is just your standard, it's Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. I have two swipe colors. So those colors, those six colors are mixed with that house paint pouring medium. These next two colors are mixed with Australian Floetrol. This is a mixture of Old Gold by Artist Loft, as well as a little bit of Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold because I think that has the most sparkle to it. And so I like to add it, but it also tends to take over. So I like to give it, um, add it a little bit to another gold. So it tames that, but it includes the sparkle. I left this one a slightly thicker than these because with this raised middle, I think it would be really cool if the gold stayed there. And then my other swipe color is just the um, Australian Floetrol with the Windsor and Newton Mars Black. And that's mixed um, two to one Australian Floetrol. All right, I'm gonna get ready to flood the canvas. I will be okay. right back. So let's get started. This has no house paint in it, so I can torch it because I did just mix these. And I, there are ridges, but there are also a few bubbles, which I'm going to get rid of with this torch of mine. All right, so I'm slightly nervous. I think it's been probably a year and a half since I've done a swipe with paper towel. So I'm out of practice, certainly. Why not? Uh, but we'll so see I'm gonna start with that Where's copper it? and let's see what we get. And I do like it dripping over the side. Once I resin this, it looks so cool with the paint over the side. I'm gonna put that copper in there next. I will try to do light colors versus dark colors and you know all that stuff you should do. I'm going to do this bright blue here. It's that turquoise by Deco Art with a little bit of phthalo blue. I'm going to do my dark berry mixture with the phthalo blue. Then I will do the periwinkle type color. And then my metallic cobalt blue which the colors that I mixed and created for this, some of them may be um, rivaling, uh, being a, be a rival. Oh, I just drip, drip, drip. Luckily I'm a swipe, but my word, I'm messy today. I should go over. Um, some of them are fighting this metallic cobalt blue from a favorite color. So uh, that is a CA, but you see leaving it thicker means that it doesn't sink because sometimes when you put your um, cell activator on there, it sinks right away. Like this one is starting to sink a little bit. So leaving it thicker me will me uh, keep it on top of your colors a little bit more, which we will see how that works out. Man, I'm messy today. Wow, I'm just dripping everywhere. All right, let's see. Ooh, I'm nervous. Haven't done a paper towel swipe in so long. You want your paper towels to really connect with your paint? Let's see what I got. And I'm gonna probably go to the end with this one more than I would. And I'm just going to drop them there because I'm not going to swipe twice with that paper towel at all. It is too messy. If that edge is bent right there, do try to straighten it out so it connects with all your paint. Lay that in. Once you put it down, don't move it again. And swipe. <laughs> That's fun. That's going to be fun, I think. I'm excited. I shake my hips when I'm excited. Sometimes my daughters don't like it because I get excited a lot. So I shake my hips a lot. I dance a lot in my house because it's fun.
Look at it. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Now watch me. I'm not going to drop my phone in it. I have done it before. Oh, goodness. Not going to do it this time. I always paint with candlelight because it's just adds to the ambient. However, I do say it's hot. So you see those edges? Imagine that under resin. It is so pretty because they get so bright. But look at this, you guys. Look at all the lacing and all the different iridescence and shimmery metallics in this. I just love this piece. It may be my new favorite. Oh my goodness. And then what I'm gonna do is show you the side because there's texture in there. Like this little thing, whoop, don't touch it. These little things, those are texture. And so it's hard to see it from above. I will show you a side view. Look at the middle, y'all. Look at it, look at it, look at it. I can say y'all, I'm from Texas. I can say y'all. It feels right. But look how sparkly that is. I am in love with the painting. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Okay, almost to the end. Then I will show you the side view. But look at all those colors. That purple, periwinkle, blue. This is why I mix colors because there's so many beautiful colors that are just natural. But when you add a little bit, see the side there? Look at that, even the puddle. So that side. So look, from the edge, you can see. Let's see if I can get it focused. There's a little bit of raised middle to it. And so once I resin this, so in order to resin this one, I'm gonna flood it. So I'm going to resin the sides eventually, but I'm going to do two coats because I'll do a skim coat, which will leave these ridges out. And then I'll tape the sides and do a flood coat. So it'll be a thicker coat on the top. But you guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. <laughs> I always do this, like my arms are that long. But they are really long, actually. I'm really tall and I have really long arms. So I can do this. Uh, thank you for visiting. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get all the notifications, share, comment. Thank you for visiting. You guys make this worth it. Take care. Talk to you next time. Bye.